Welcome to another edition of the AlterEgos.com training tutorial videos. In today's topic, we're going to discuss how to copy files from one location to another location. Specifically, where this comes in is I've been in a lot of situations where I needed to copy files over or I've heard an individual tell me that they needed to do the same thing and they really didn't have the skill set to create a batch file or a VB script or just didn't have the time to and they had to do it with more than one file. Uh, you know, a batch file, you could do a research or a VB script, you could do research on the internet and find something fairly quick. But, you know, it's just not the uh, skill set for some individuals out there. And it throws a, maybe a little bit uh, more complexity in it when it involves more than one file. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how you could take and overcome this very quickly, very easily using the WISE MSI Packager that comes with the deployment server. This is going to be very handy because what's going to allow you to do is to copy files or uh, create an MSI actually that is going to allow you to use that MSI basically like an installer to copy files to any number of computers within your organization. And the beauty of this is it's not going to be limited to your deployment server. You could also use it with software delivery and the notification server, task server, or you could take and actually carry that MSI around with you on removable media or manually get to it through the network. Anyway, it's going to give you that ability, plus you don't have to worry about somebody being able to delete the files or anything or make adjustments to those files unless they've got maybe an MSI editor. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to need to do, go ahead and pull our deployment server console up. And then once we're there, let's go ahead and go to our tools, wise MSI editor. Go ahead and bring that up. And when that comes up, we're going to have a new installation file window that's going to pop up. We just need to go ahead and cancel that. Now that we're here, you'll notice to the left we've got project definition, feature details, target system, package option, and user interface. For today's tutorial, we're going to be curious, or actually we're just going to be interested in the feature details and specifically files. So I'll go ahead and select that by left clicking on it and now you'll see that we have four quadrants that come up in our right hand side and the detail our files. Top two quadrants represent the computer that you're currently working on and outline the feature set or the directory structure therein. Now what we can see is if I highlight a particular directory you'll see that it will show us all of the files in the second or right hand upper quadrant of the contents of the directory. So what I can now do is I can select all of them or individuals and get ready to have those uh, be shown where they're going to be copied to over onto the target system. Inversely, I can highlight an entire directory if I want to use that and add that as contents to my directory on the target system, which brings us up to the bottom two quadrants. This represents the file path that you want to have the systems copy to from the MSI. Now, you can take and select My Documents, Program Files, Windows, or Destination Computer and create a new destination. And that's what I want to do here. So I'm going to select New and I'm going to call this Copy Underscore Demo. Click OK. And you can now see that I've got this. And this will represent itself as C Copy Underscore Demo. You can actually make any number of changes that you want to with this. Now that I've done that, let me go ahead and select the files that I want to copy in the upper right quadrant and select add file. Making sure obviously that the directory that I want to have them copied into is highlighted in the bottom left quadrant. Now that I've had all the files uh, selected that I want to have copied over within this particular uh, MSI, I'm going to go to the bottom right and select my compile button. And now it's asking me for a location where I want to have this MSI created. I'm going to go to desktop and I'm just going to go ahead and keep the naming convention the same. Copy underscore demo and it will create it as an MSI. Select save. The copy process continues. Let's me know that it's done. Now what I need to do is let's go ahead and minimize it down here. Let me bring up the MSI that I just created. Now what I also want to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a browser window server. I'm going to go ahead and double click on my copy demo.msi. 
and as you can see, it's going through and uh, launching this. And you could use the standard MSI install switches to make it silent if you wanted to. I'm just going to go through and select. on finish now if I scroll down I have a copy underscore demo directory created just a few moments ago I will click that and my three files are there and that is how you can use the wise MSI packager within the deployment server to create a copy file job thank you and please return back to view more of our tutorial videos